guys, how you doing this evening? It's your girl, Miss Debs, coming to you from my kitchen. Deborah's Delicious Dishes. Giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and he's so worthy to be praised. Guys, I'm doing a fall soup tonight. I have some grilled chicken that I got from Trader Joe's in one of my hauls. So now what I'm doing, I have it in here cooking on this skillet, this electrical uh, frying pan, right? So, I'm just chopping up some of this chicken to put in my soup. I'm going to show it to you guys. Just bear with me. How you doing this evening? I hope everyone had a beautiful day today. Hope everyone had a beautiful day. My day was great. I worked almost 11 hours today. Well, 10 hours. I worked 10 hours today. So, came home, wanted to put this soup on for my family. Okay, let me bring this down something to show you what Miss Deb's got going on here. Okay. Over here, as you can see my electrical uh, skillet, you see the smoke coming out. So I'm just taking pieces of chicken out because it was frozen, guys. But you know, it was already cooked. So that's easy. It's almost a quick, well, I wouldn't really say it's a quick meal, but it's not too bad, not too shabby. <laughs> because being that the meat was already cooked, I would call it a cheat meal. My meat was already cooked. It was in my deep freezer. But um, by me taking it out and putting it, putting it inside of this uh, electrical cooker with a little water. And you know, chicken is, I'm going to tell you something, chicken is so versatile. First of all, you can do any and everything with it. But not only that, if you have a chicken breast, you can shred that sucker from here to South Carolina. And it, it could be two chicken breasts and it'll feed a whole family of six. I love chicken. Chicken is so, I mean, it, it's expandable. It's very expandable. Okay, so this chicken is hot. Your girl trying to chop it real fast so I don't feel the heat. But guess what? It ain't working too much. <laughs> it ain't working too much, but hey, it's chopping. Okay, so now. Ooh, hotty, hooty, ooh, hot, hot. Okay, let me cut up these, shred up these last little pieces. And one thing about it, I have my little meat shredder. And that's what I didn't get with this knife. It will continue to get, trust me. When I put it, uh, put that meat uh, shredder and masher in there. Okay, so that's our chicken. Got that going on here. Sorry for the noise. Hold on one second. I'm washing my hands. I'm rinsing this off. And I'm going to tell you what I have in my pot here, guys. Cook, baby. Cook, baby. Cook, baby. This was the chicken. Remember I had this in the hall, guys? That's the chicken I got from Trader Joe's. It's just a, um, it's like a shredded chicken breast. I think it's like two breasts. If, all right. So now we got this on low. Got that going. Now. Let me tell you what I, let me show you what I have over here. Now, over here, guys, Miss Deb have her full um, ingredients right here in this pan. I'm going to show you what I have. Um, I'm always a woman that prepare my food ahead of time. So, these are carrots. I, I have like three big bags of carrots, those big, um, humongous carrots. And I cut them up, I wash them, cut them up. And then I put them in a big Ziploc bag so whenever I need them for stews and soups or stir fries, I have them, right? And I do my peppers, my tricolor peppers and onions like that. And then these are rutabakers. I showed you guys that big ugly thing I was cutting up one time so I washed that and cut that up and put it in here too. So now, just flipping it over some because that's almost done. I'm going to turn that eye back up a little bit over here. I have two little small onions. 
Now, I normally chop these up and have these in the bag, but um, I had used all my onions up for different recipes. I'll probably do that over the weekend. Just chop up my vegetables and put it in the deep freezer or the top of the refrigerator for my soups and stews because this is the time of season for our soups, right? Our soups and stews. So look guys, I have my onions here. I'm just putting it right over here into this pan right here with my veggies cooking. It smells so freaking good in here. Let me tell you. Bam! Turn back to the chicken. Chicken is okay. We don't need no seasoning in that chicken. I'm going to tell you why. Let me get my meat masher. Sorry about that guys. Just had to rinse that off. This is a meat masher. This is one of the Betty Crocker ones, but you can get these bad boys from anywhere. And you talking about chopping up your meat? Come on. Come on over here. So I'm just chopping it up. And this is going to go in my whole soup. I got to get a super name. You know, I always like to name my videos and whatever I'm doing and cooking. So this is going to be my surf and turf small soup. So you ask yourself, hmm, why Miss Deb saying surf and turf soup? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why we're going to get it. Chicken is the surf, right? Let's turn that off. That's done, believe it or not, because remember, it's going in soup. So we're going to turn that uh, skillet off. Bam. Now over here, I have my veggies, which I have um, Ruta Bakers, which is a turnip. I put some bay leaves in it. We just chopped up them two small onions. We have carrots. We have tricolor peppers. And the seasonings that I put in here, guys. Turn that up a bit because I'm going to show you what I'm about to put in here. Before I get to the seasons, let me tell you what else I do. Sometime I'll wash my shrimps, devein them, shell them, wash them, season them, and this is going to be the turf. This is going right here in my veggies. Believe me, that's going to cook down. It's so, it, you know, it's so convenient when you work all day. Why should you have to come home, I say, over and over to a slave over a hot stove, right? So... Over here, we have our red sauce that's cooking away. Where's my spoon? You know what? Uh, I'll use this. So those shrimps, they don't have to, um, they're going to cook, trust me. Let me make sure this is not burning. Let's put our shrimps down in the bottom here. Turn that down some more. Now this is our sauce. I'm getting ready to show you this sauce and I'm going to tell you what I have in here. That's the tomato sauce, right guys? It has in here, let me show you. I still won't see it that way. Okay, so let's go over here. See that tomato sauce, guys? So, I have in there. Remember I was telling you guys about that sofrito that I was using? This is the sofrito uh, seasoning blend. And also right here I have the Perfect Pinch Rotisserie Chicken Seasoning. This is the bomb. And I'm not even going to lie, guys. I ran out of this. And I couldn't find it in stores, right? I mean, I've been searching high and low. So, Miss Dad said, wow, that was a good flavor. I like the way that makes my food pop. Where can I go find this at, right? So I went online. They got it at certain stores, Walmart and stuff like that. You could get six jars for uh, like $30. I was like, hold up. Put on my glasses. Red ingredients. Bam! Your girl made her own rotisserie chicken season. <laughs> Don't tell me it can't be done. Okay, so we have our sauce over here going. Let me finish telling you what we put in here in this pot. I told you we have the... Ruta Baker's the carrots. We have the um the tricolor peppers. We have green peppers. We have onions. And I put some bay leaves in here. And you see how quick this shrimp is just coming apart. So we're gonna let that cook. And it's okay if it be broken up, because guess what? It's gonna be broken up in the soup anyway. 
So I'm just breaking this up a little bit, guys. I'll show it to you after I finish because I got to pull my um, tripod down so you can see it. Well, this is going to be great, I'm telling you. So I'm turning that up just a little bit more now so the heat can get to those um, shrimp. So now, here I put in onion powder. No sassoon today, guys. I put in Mal Curry Caribbean Rhythms Jerk Seasoning. Well, it's uh, curry, but I did put jerk seasoning in. I put it back up here in my cabinet. Then you saw me put the onion powder in it. Um, let me put a little more uh, curry in it. Now, you talking about something that's going to warm up your stomach on this nice cold day. So now I'm getting ready to put my chicken in here, and I'm going to put some corn in there also. Right, guys? So I'm going to undo this. I'm going to put my chicken in here. Let me move this out the way. And this is what I call a nice surf and turf fall soup. It's easy to make. The ingredients didn't take long to get together. See all the chicken going in there, guys? Perfect, right? I'm going to stir that up in that nice red tomato sauce. And I was going to put bay leaves in here, but you know what? I have the bay leaves in here. The bay leaves in there. So now, I'm going to add this with the shrimps that I... Don't worry, those shrimps are going to cook. So we're going to put this in here. Oh my God, it smells so good up in here, guys. Who else love to make soups and stews and things like that? Oh my God, this is smelling awesome. Now I'm going to get a can of soup. I have some frozen roasted soup. I mean, uh, corn. I think that would be better. I'll be right back. Let me get some roasted corn. Okay, guys, so I'm back. The soup is done. The surf and turf fall soup is done. I put some black beans in here and roasted uh, corn. This is just from Trader Joe's. It's just roasted corn. And I put it in here with the other ingredients. And it came out pretty good. It tastes awesome. Okay. So I asked my daughter. She tried some of the soup. How did you like it, daughter? I was banging. Thank you so much. Let me show you guys the soup. Yeah. Now, you, look at this. It has the shrimp in here. It has the shredded chicken. All the yeah. veggies. The roasted corn. The black beans. You see that, guys? That's a nice fall soup right there. So, I'm going to try a little bit. I'm going to dish a little bit up for you guys. Let me turn, take this down a bit. All right. Oh, my God, that looks so good. This is the soup, guys. Let me bring it down. Turn that on, love. Hi, sweetheart. What I'm making? Well, I made a fall soup. It's called a surf and turf small uh fall soup. Yeah. Yeah, honey. This is it, guys. This is the shrimp, the black beans, the corn. This is the chicken. It is a soup, sweetheart. And the uh, sauce is the tomatoes. It's um roasted, roasted tomatoes, and then tomato sauce. So here we go, guys. Hmm. That's delicious, guys. Mm. 
thank you so much Bye, for coming to my channels. Bye, sweetheart. Deborah's delicious Bye, dishes. This soup right here is all that. A nice fall soup. You can put anything in any type of veggies, um, whatever meat you have on hand. This was just some shrimps I had in the deep freezer and some um, already cooked uh, chicken breast from Trader Joe's that I chopped up and warmed up and put it into the soup and it made a beautiful fall soup. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining Miss Deb's channel. Have a beautiful evening. God bless. One love, people. Peace.